You want one? You took them all. Alrighty, so anyway, now that I'm snackless, I suppose it's time to get back to work. Now we got ourselves an attempted sovereign citizen over here. And this gets unbelievably outrageous. To the point where he's having a full-blown argument with his mother live on the air. I really hope you enjoy this one and I'm pretty sure you will. Gavin, is Gavin Bowden present? Please let me state your name. Sir, you're still muted. Mr. Bowden, please unmute your device. <laughs> okay, hi, this is Gavin Bowden. Thank you, sir. All right, sir, you were back here after one week. What were you supposed to be doing? My notes don't tell me. Uh, I feel like they should. Uh, okay, well, they don't. Um, something, something to do with rent section eight and a bunch of finagles. Uh, Every time I complete the paperwork circuit, it falls through. It's due to no fault of my own. All right. Um, Mr. Gazzari, do you have notes about what he was supposed to be doing? Your Honor, my recollection of the last hearing was that there was nothing that had been filed at the last hearing, but he was going to look into options to see if he could get any kind of assistance through either through any avenue. I both disagree with this process and the other one. It's not judicial ceremony or due process or procedure. <laughs> Ah, Jesus, here we go. Firstly, nobody cares if you agree with it or not. Secondly, absolutely nobody cares if you agree with it or not. Um, COVID is mainly criminological, and I don't like the, the forced intelligence probe that you're doing. That's what I feel this is. What are you saying? I just said it. <laughs> Sir, you're here because you have not paid your rent. The I'm issue. familiar with that. I just told you that, that telling me the same thing, but pretending I didn't say anything doesn't change anything. I just told you I didn't hear what you said and you refused to repeat it. This is the most bizarre court setting I've ever experienced in my life. You got this guy talking about some secret mind control stuff or whatever. You got Rhonda down there eating all my chips and you got a Jean over there having a full blown disco. What have I walked in on? I didn't refuse. Um, this seems like a non judicial ceremony and seems like not fair process and procedure um this is due to no fault of my own i complete all the paperwork circuits turn all the paperwork in complete all the loops i'm supposed so to what are you saying and keep through. What are you so saying if you're going to interrupt me if you're going to interrupt me then you're not listening to what i'm saying and you're, you're what being, are you uh, saying you completed <laughs> section, section eight paperwork uh Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. I mean, you should have those records if you're if you're legitimate. The fact that you don't is rather concerning. Okay. All right. So apparently, um, there is no Sarah app. Is that correct, Miss Banky? That's correct. The last year application I see um, was approved in December. All right. Thank you, Miss Gazzari. What would you like to do today? I'd like to proceed that's, with the judgment. All right. That's section sorry. eight. That's annual. All right. Um, I've tried to get from you information here today. If I can't get that from you, um, because all I get is the actual no. summons. Sir, I don't know what you're talking about, but it's not going to work in this courtroom. So This isn't a courtroom. I would love to challenge that. Yeah, and we'd all love to see you challenge that. Your um, Honor, if I may. But then again, um, you're trying to tangle me up in district court stuff when I'm trying to go talk to world court and counterterrorism. I mentioned that during the last uh, alleged trial, which happened to be some Carl Rove crap, which is also illegal. It is the same ridiculous impeachment probes. Those are not trials. Those are probes and ill-gotten intelligence attempts. Your Honor, if I may. Yes, yes. I, I spoke with his mother, who I believe is attempting to get guardianship over him. I think the issue was that there was a non-renewal of his CMA voucher. Um, it's unclear what that reason was. If I think perhaps he simply didn't turn in the renewal forms. I think that is the reason for the non-payment of rent. Um, that is what I've been told by the by his mother. All right. Are you going to be representing him with respect um, to that? Not at this time, Your Honor. I just wanted to shed some light on the situation. His mom seems to be present. Um, Ma'am, can you unmute and tell me what's going on, please? Hi, I'm Nancy.
Nancy Bowden Webster, Gavin's mother. Okay. Um, we were down. We lived two hours away from Gavin. We were we were down here a couple of times in the spring, and helped Gavin clean and took papers out of his living room and dining room. And two times, I removed all the papers. Then the last time I was here, an envelope on the table just appeared. I don't know where he had it. He had it in his game room or or where, but it wasn't on the kitchen table. And the last time we were down, I asked him to carry it out to the car. And when I opened it last Wednesday, it was the form for renewing his Section 8 housing voucher. And I thought we had already renewed that for a, a, a year um but could you please address the guardianship that they just tried to put words in your mouth with because that's not accurate okay um i'm confident i don't know what else to say you don't have to say anything else nancy your face says it all poor darling having to put up with this nonsense okay I All right, well, Ms. Gazzari, it sounds like he is requesting a hearing uh, regarding okay. this. And well, I'd second, like to talk to the counterterrorism department at the federal building in Pentagon, not requesting a fucking hearing for rent. I'm more than confident <laughs> not challenging Ms. something. Ms. Your, um, <laughs> Ms. Your, Your Honor, Ms. Ms. Your Bobby, Honor can I, I speak? Yes, go ahead. Where is the judge? She's not even on the screen. I find that shady all by itself. Gavin. What? Gavin. I don't like being maneuvered. That is or, listen, we're coming back down here Friday. I asked for an emergency hearing. The reason I did is because you're getting evicted, and I am asking the court for a guardian for you. You have them. You, he's not giving you papers. I am. They're your papers. There's a hearing Friday morning at 10. Okay, ma'am. I'm going to miss Mr. For guardianship. I'm going to deny this for one week to see if um, he, if she, if she gets a guardianship and then maybe we can try to get somewhere with this. Um, so well, I'm, he's got, I'm sorry. Um, excuse me. I'm sorry. He's got a guardian at Lightham established. It's not a guardian. It's a payee. And that was required by Shirley Struble and shelter plus care hmm. manipulations. At the homeless he shelter. has a guardian at Lightham established. I'm adjourning this for one week to see if there's a, a hearing in front of the probate court ma'am, based on your representations here today, okay? Okay, well, what if, well, I am trying to get him a guardian. I know, she waited until Friday, till after Friday. Well, I don't want a guardian. Okay. So the request is for me to enter a judgment so he'll be ev evicted. I'm denying that request today to see if you go in front of the probate court and whether he gets a guardian, okay? Okay. All right, and we'll come back next Wednesday and see where things are. All right, August seventh. Okay, the full the emergency hearing is Friday. The full to... hearing is September eighth. So right. I don't know if he's going to have a guardian before the eighth. I understand. At least you can give me an update then, and we'll go from there. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, 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 um, August seventeenth, two thousand twenty-two. And that's going to be at, and I'm going to put this at 4 p.m. because it may take a little bit more time. Okay. Okay. Sorry. August 22nd at 4. August 17th at 4. August, August 17th at 4 30. 4 p.m., ma'am. 4 p.m. August 17th at 4 p.m. Correct. Okay. I have some noise outside the, the window. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Your Honor. That was quite something. I think I need a cigarette after that. Where's my cigarette at? August 17th at 4, 4 p.m. now. 4 p.m. Oh, damn it, Rhonda. First the chips and now the ciggies. What's next? You gonna take my coffee? Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed that. That was pretty interesting. I feel very bad for his poor mother who's gonna have to deal with him. I feel like she's fighting his corner so hard just to make sure that she doesn't have to take him in after all this. Can you imagine having to live with that? Anyway, folks, if you enjoyed the video, make sure and hit that like button, comment down below, and we'll catch you in the next one. Sanja.